Hello YouTube viewers once again. Welcome to the Pro this Discovery World Channel. Thank you for subscribing to the channel and also your contribution. One way or the other to make this channel a success. For some time now, we have been on how you can design a refrigerator. I will explain in different form, different ways on how this can be done. For instance, now in the last two videos, I explained the materials you can use in design a refrigerator. And I can remember last video I talked about different uh, how to build a different uh, a refrigerator using different methods. Now today I'm going to show you how you can generate a 20 kV energy generator using a single phase generator. How you can generate a 20 kV uh, electricity using a single uh, phase generator. Now, for instance, we are going to show you some of the generator. This is a typical 20 kV generator, which is mounted here. You can see this place is a generator, and this place is control. And if you look up here, is the motor. These are all control design and configure, so they can generate efficiency. Now, this is a different design, which you can see the different design entirely from other design you have ever seen. Why this design? So simple. Many attempts we have different designs of generators because of some purpose and reason for future adjustment. For instance, now in this generator, now we have this one, we have the control bus which indicate the meter and also the fuse. And then, if you look up here, you see the motor. The motor now is connected through a bed to this central man, which is the pulley. And then, you see here, flyway. And then, here now is another bearing. The bearing now is the one that holding this first rod here, and then from here we have a central pulley that link a bed to this one, which is another second pulley. And then if you look here now, you see another bearing and flyway, and then control. Then you can see the, the gap from here to this point is a little wide and this side. Now somebody may ask why this uh, so much space and this design. No, the essence for this design is very important. Number one. It help you for future adjustment. As mean in future, I want to bring another generator here to make it to. I can bring another generator of this type to this position here, here, and this generator will face opposite opposite of this one. And then the same motor can be used in running these two generator at the same time. As means adjustment, you can adjust it now. I have this generator here again to make it to. Well, I want it is 20 kVA. You can run 20 kV a year to make it 40, and then and you still use the same motor to run this because why the central design is that the bed is the one that is controlling the two of them via the pole here and the central. So the, the, mode, the generator now is independently in this case, not too much weight because it's already it's, it, it's run direct to this pole here. So as long as this pole here is rotating, the generator will always generate light. And if this one is rotating, definitely this one that is linked to this one is rotated. So that is why they have the two beds, one down here, and another one here. That is like I see this L shape. One goes here, one goes up. That is to make it easier for future rotation in case you want to rotate the, the two generators at the same time. But in this case now, it's one. So it's still running at an independent form, still running on its own, even without there's a second one because of the motor. The motor now is an up way, up down, and then the, the this, this is a separate full separate design. So that is one of the reasons for this design. Then if you also go for that again, you see that this uh, pulley is double. Now you see double double uh, flyway. Why the double flyway? We wait because in future when you want to do another motor, one here, one the answer as I said earlier, one would be in this place here, in here. And one is already here, so the central pulley, the, uh, the flywheel, will enable the two by two generator to balance, to balance its production. So if you have uh, one generator here and one here, and then this uh, flywheel can balance the two equation by stabilizing the the motor the way it goes, because that is why the essence of the two uh, system being introduced on this major. That is one of the things I want you to know because sometimes we bring a design so that you can be able to understand that you can normally only use one pattern of design. You can use different different design. 
if you have not confident with one straight design you can use it so you know some people use uh, only flyway one flyway some don't use flyway like to use only bear or still produce design you like you want the only thing is that if you want to have a future adjustment or a future uh, energy uh, or a future director that can be added you can always adopt this design like this that will help you to adjust so really constructing everything again you don't just need to do that just just remove the put uh, this uh, flyway and bring out a motor here and bring a generator here when you bring a generator here on the other carry you have already produced two generators being controlled by one motor that is one of the good thing but if you had not have this kind of design and in future you want to do, bring out a double generator uh, system it means you're going to just construct everything at the same time you construct the motor you construct the base you construct everything then you now now do a new one but with this one now is already sure that everything is already adjusted and produced for your own test so you don't need to readjust anything just like the same for this uh, uh, system and the same for having this system so when you want to have future adjustment you don't need to go and control everything again use this one again so now with this method now you can produce 20 kva 20 kva is very short and this second thing i want to ask to tell you <coughs> when you want to produce let's say always try to use sound generators stop using old scrap generators that are not going to give you efficient supply i've seen some people show me video of what they produce and they use an old discarded generator that sometimes when you use old generator it may be the problem why you don't like, have good flow of electricity. So, I advise you to buy a sound generator that can give you a sound production so that if you start the production, you will not have issue of any type. Except you are telling me you are doing a recording. In other words, the generator can be old like this and then you record the internal system and then have a spray and then mount it. That's also good. So if not, go for a new generator. I can give you a new project. As you can see here, this is a new uh, motor, a new generator, a new control bus, and everything flyway are all new and are all sound. So this enable you to have a good production. And the same way, if you look at the the, the construction the material, the ions, you see that everything is in order and sound and it's well mounted because the mounting of this generator is also very important if you mount it very well even if you are running the generator you won't have any break but when you don't mount it without constructed properly constructed you will have a problem when the generator is stuck vibrating that is why i see everything here is new see pretty new you can see the the city the irons here the base here everything you see the the west established on the ground and you can see the root of iron you will also see the the bearings how it is you see everything is well constant and very matter for future use so please don't forget to do this if you want to design don't forget to do it and also if you want to watch the previous video we have done you know, just go to the link below and you click and save everything and go ahead and look and see some what we are doing Thank you.